I saw a few do-it-yourself step counters online, but I will be brave and say that this one is most polished and accurate. I had been thinking about programming my own step counter for a while, and I was waiting for a right ESP32 device. One that was small enough to carry in a pocket, had a nice screen, a battery, speaker, and of course an accelerometer to detect steps. And here is it, I'm using the WaveShare ESP32 S3 1.8 inch AMOLED touch display board. And yes, I know, smartwatch can measure steps also, but this one is exactly how I wanted it to be. I can calibrate the sensor, set sensitivity, adjust my step length, which affects distance and speed, and input by weight, which affects calorie calculation. This isn't something you wear all day like a smartwatch ending with 20,000 steps or accidental shakes counted by the end of the day. This device is meant to be used when you go for a walk with a purpose, whether it's for weight loss or, like me, simply to stay active since I spend most of my day sitting. So I wanted a precise device that would give me a, an accurate step count when I go to my 20 minutes walk. Before my walk I need to activate the exercise and at the end I I get precise statistics about my workout. No pain, no gain. <laughs> if I set my step length correctly, the distance calculation will also be close to the actual distance. There's also calorie estimation features. It is impossible to calculate the exact number of calories burned, so I hope it is close. Number is influenced by speed, distance and weight. The main features are step calibration and sound signal. For the first 30 steps, my device beeps whenever a step is detected. This helps calibrate the sensor sensitivity, allowing me to check whether all steps are detected correctly or if some are counted twice. Of course, sound can be disabled after sensor is calibrated. So we are outside and let's see how this works in real exercise. So I will start it and first 30 step It's a little hard because I'm holding camera and device but I think one step is not detected so I can decrease sensitivity and try again and besides this beautiful AMOLED screen speaker ESP32 S3 there is also power management chip which allows us to turn off board so board is completely turned off it is not draining battery and it also has SD card reader and now you are asking where are GPIOs? board came this way closed but if you want to use GPIOs you can remove this cover and here you access to some GPIOs and maybe put wires here or make hole in this plastic case. But for me it is very cute idea to have something that I can put in my pocket and use as a stopwatch, timer, step counter, um, image viewer, mp3 player, to fetch some wireless data, internet data, Bluetooth data. So I will not use those GPIOs. Better you probably notice that screen is going out every eight seconds when this line. This feature is to save a battery and also board is programmed at 80 hertz not any 240 so that also saves some battery and i was able to run this program or sketch or firmware for two and a half hours so if you 
planning to use this for walking, make sure you charge this um, before. I don't walk two and a half hours, so so I can use this few few times. Like always, code is in the description. You can use it, play with it, learn from it. Actually, I spent many hours on this, and this looks like something I do as paid jobs. And I think I spent more than 20 hours on this, but it was fun. I will share firmware files so you can also install this easily and there are also some features i added so uh, all settings are stored in eprom so when i turn off device and when i turn it on again these settings remains like always i shared code uh, you will find on github a link in the description and when you extract that zip file you will find code and firmware so if you are a beginner and or you just want to try this example you can easy install this firmware which is this step counter dot bin file and you can use this great ESP tool, browser-based tool. You will just connect your board to port. You will set address to zero. You will choose file that step counter fi dot bin file. You will choose this file and you will go to program. And don't forget to reset your board when writing process is complete. And if you want to change something, here is code. So feel free to play with that. And at the end, I just wanted to thank you because you watched whole video. Thank you again. Tell me what you think, uh, please leave a comment, like always. If you are new here, please subscribe. And if you are not new here, and this is very useful to you, you can always support my work on Patreon, Coffee, and YouTube, thanks. Thank you, I hope I will <laughs> go to walk walks more often now, and I hope I will fun time to exercise but something is telling me that <laughs> that this is not gonna happen so easily thank you and have a nice day goodbye